A very good evening, everyone. Uh, welcome to Bible and Prayer for this Monday evening, Monday of Holy Week. If you were with us yesterday, uh, you remember we celebrated Palm Sunday together. Uh, we thought about the palm crosses and we thought about Jesus arriving in Jerusalem as king. Um, yesterday, I also mentioned this little book called Abide. And what does it mean for us to abide in Jesus, for him to abide in us? And if you'd like a copy of the book, please uh, drop us a message or send us a text. Um, we'd love to pop one in the post to you completely free. Um, I was given them. I'd like to give them away. Um, so if that would be of help to you this Easter time, uh, let me know. And uh, once they're gone, they're gone. But if you'd like one, please let me know. Uh, coming up down the track for tomorrow, uh, don't forget it is uh, Tommy's Tots in the afternoon. If you're part of the toddler group, uh, don't forget to tune in at two o'clock and you'll find uh, the uh, Tommy's Tots meeting there. And then on Wednesday, we've got our prayer meetings, 11 o'clock in the morning, 7.30 in the evening. Uh, join us on Zoom for our prayer meetings if you can. Great to see you there. Our reading for this evening is uh, continuing our read through of Luke, uh, Luke chapter 20 this evening, and we begin at verse 45. While all the people were listening, Jesus said to his disciples, Beware of the teachers of the law. They like to walk around in flowing robes and love to be greeted with respect in the marketplaces and have the most important seats in the synagogues and the places of honour at banquets. They devour widows' houses for a show and for a show make lengthy prayers. These men will be punished most severely. As Jesus looked up, he saw the rich putting their gifts into the temple treasury. He also saw a poor widow put in two very small copper coins. Truly, I tell you, he said, this poor widow has put in more than all the others. All these people gave out their gifts out of their wealth, but she, out of her poverty, put in all she had to live on. It is the Monday of Holy Week. Remember how we've begun on this journey with Jesus to Jerusalem? Well, he's now arrived. The final stop on that journey is coming into view. Jesus is looking at the cross squarely in the face. And yet, even now, he's still calling people to follow. He's still giving us great examples of those who we should follow in life. Uh, these final days Jesus is using in a strategic way and the week begins with him speaking uh, and spending a lot of time in and around the temple courts of Jerusalem and as we join Jesus this evening we're given two simple pictures uh, of uh, life at that time. Uh, Luke puts these right next to each other uh, to make a point uh, like two Polaroid prints uh, on uh, the same uh, bit of wall uh, telling their story. Each picture tells a story, doesn't it? Uh, let's see what we can see. The first picture depicting men, rich and important, flowing robes, uh, much uh, involved in their own importance. Uh, they love their status. Uh, they love that high status, that standing in the community. Uh, they love showy prayers. Uh, they love uh, the best seats at the banquet. Uh, these are people who have status and they really like it that way. Uh, the second little snap, well, it's depicting almost the opposite, isn't it? A poor widow in her only clothes. Uh, she has no status and she knows it too. And yet she, not they, are the ones commended here by Jesus. Uh, she quietly and unassumingly drops her tiny gift into the temple collection box. Two copper coins, all she had that night. There's no show, there's no fuss, uh, no one really even notices. Compare that to the temple leaders making uh, far greater financial contributions, yes, but doing so with that showy fuss that they so enjoy, seeking their own attention uh, and lapping it up from others. And in this last week of Jesus's life, as he goes to the cross, he simply says, truly, I tell you, this widow, this poor widow, put in more than the others. 
out of her poverty she gave all she had the lesson is pretty clear isn't it those who would follow jesus to the cross are those who know that kind of poverty not financially but spiritually knowing we cannot give any more and yet this is the kind of people that the father desires uh, less show and more sacrifice giving all of ourselves out of poverty rather than holding back because of our perceived wealth in one way or another and of course a call in these days to give and to serve uh, lots of opportunities to do that with our neighbours and friends keeping up with the church family uh, just making a phone call dropping a text uh, different ways we can serve uh, sacrificially uh, but look we want to do it don't we in a way which is uh, uh, not showy not public uh, just no fuss, uh, service and sacrifice that go together all the way to the cross as we journey with Jesus in these days. Let me pray for us this evening. I'm going to use uh, the special prayer for Palm Sunday from yesterday. Let's pray. Father God, we do thank you very much for the widow and her example to us of uh, simple trust and faith in uh, the things that she knew. Uh, Father, would you guard us against being those who would be showy and making a fuss, uh, but rather would we serve others in humility? Would we go after uh, you, the Lord Jesus uh, in these days? In that way we pray. And this night we pray, Almighty and everlasting God, who in your tender love towards the human race sent your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ, to take upon him our flesh and to suffer death upon the cross. Grant that we may follow the example of his patience and humility and also be made partakers of his resurrection through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Amen. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. We'll see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye for now.